Hello, welcome back to HWLRadio.com. You're here with your main man, Hollywood. And today, man, you talk about fight of the year. It ain't even candidate. Like, because there's no other fight that was better. And the number one fact that it was put on by women is just beyond me. Because for the simple fact that people always see it, and I always told y'all, only reason it's not as good as you want it to be is the reason Clarissa Shields said it. She don't never have no competitor on her level that could fight like that not saying that there has not been no other fights like that because the Sean Cruz normally always has fights like that but they didn't have this big of a platform but man on the fight at first me being a fan of Serrano's because I n- never really knew Katie Taylor and I seen Jake Paul get behind Serrano I was like dang he got him a he got him a good ass fighter but as a fan and seeing, like Carissa Shields said, from the action, I was like, dang, man, they stole it from Amanda. They stole this from Amanda Serrano, man. And then I had to kick out, you know, the feelings and the emotion, and I had to see for what it was. And Clarissa Shields was saying it through the whole fight. Like, Amanda got her in trouble, and she felt like that was enough to sway around to where she had a cushion. And the whole fact, the point that she was missing was that Katie Taylor was the champion. And when somebody's a champion, not only just a one belt champion, like all the belts champion, like they, you just can't get that with no one good round. And then this is another thing that people fail to realize. And I look back at this and I was like, you know what? I can't really say that she didn't win because I thought she was getting knocked out. And you know, when somebody, you think somebody's getting knocked out, you're not looking at what the other person is doing, how she's slipping the punches, how she's countering, how she's jabbing to keep her up off of her. Them is all point. But we were so busy looking for Serrano to knock her out and think she was about to be knocked out. We wasn't even adding up her points because we was thinking the fight was about to be over. But she was in for the trade. She went in for the trade. And like Serrano said, when she feel my power, she is not going to want to trade no more and that's exactly what took place in the fight that's all that happened she took the trade felt the power almost got in trouble overcame it and then she got on like Eddie Hearn said her pure boxing style like everybody can call it a bicycle but they said Shakur Stevenson not Shakur yeah Shakur Stevenson was on a bicycle or was it Devin Haney I think it was Shakur Stevenson they said Shakur Stevenson was on a uh, tricycle as well in the Valdez fight and then some others say that man that was a masterpiece like Floyd Mayweather do so I mean to each his own I kind of mad that I missed that because I do love boxing but I mean come on now the first women's boxing hit, I mean I was on the side of history like if i had a chance to be there i would want to be at the the, went the dang on women's fight because it was so big sold out everything but i had to get over here and say man they gotta run this back it's gotta be a rematch that fight was too dang old good a lot of people probably didn't think it was gonna be that good but man it shut down all the men's fights all the men's fights even you got boxers even saying like man like earl spence like man they done, that was fight of the year because it was and if you missed it, you missed being a part of history. I don't care if you was there. You could have been at your TV like I was and had the same goosebumps and feelings that everybody else was having that whole dang old night, especially when it came down to the main event. But that's going to be the show for today. I know y'all ain't think I was going to miss out on doing a show on that. And you know, boxing, boxing, basketball, wrestling could be any any way on them. There is no order. All of them are number one. So I wasn't missing nothing super big. I mean, come on now. They had Clarissa Shields, the quote T-Rex, on the commentary. So, like, yeah, you know, and she did pretty good. And she did real good because she was just breaking it down on what they was doing. What, like I said, when I said in my head, that's why I know, like, damn, Clarissa Shields is good as hell. Because as a person watching it, the fighter normally don't get it before <laughs> you get it. So, you know, you normally see it go on. And, you know, like, okay, well, when somebody has a mind like this in the ring and it's that fast, that's dangerous. And she has power. That's dangerous. I'm just telling you. But that's going to be the show for today. So, and I'm out.